I need more power! Welcome back to the Dyson Sphere program. Today, we are going to be actually focusing on the Dyson Sphere. And the reason is because I want more power. Right now, if I go and do a lot of the research that I need to do in order to get to the higher tier stuff in the game, the higher, higher tier stuff, it requires a substantial amount of power. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that it requires these green matrix cubes. The thing is, this green matrix cube requires me to use the miniature particle colliders, and these things just soak up the power. So when this line here is not completely full like it is right now, my grid cannot keep up. So here's the other thing. Right now, this is what's keeping a lot of my base running. I just have boatloads of thermal power stations running here, and then on top of that I have mini fusion power stations as well. And if you go out far enough in my map here, you'll see that I have surrounded my entire base with various solar panels and other pieces of equipment, such as ray receivers here, which are collecting power from my Dyson Sphere. However, my Dyson Sphere right now is only maintaining about 142 megawatts or so. It's not bad, but it could be better. So that's a pretty decent amount of power, but I would like to get that number up a fair bit more so that I can actually start to really rely on that. So the thing that I want to use to boost up that power is to go beyond the solar sails. We've been launching these things into space for a long time now. And I could probably do a couple of things with the orbits to kind of optimize it a little bit more, but there is a second element that we can do. And that is actually building a more structured ring around the sun. So that would be a Dyson shell. However, to get a Dyson shell in place, I'm going to need a vertical launching silo which shouldn't be too bad. We've got all the components that we need now in order to make this. Titanium alloy, frame material, graviton lenses right there, and those quantum chips. So let me go ahead and build a few of those just to kind of see what they look like. Now, the other thing is I am going to need a rocket. I don't know if this rocket flies out and comes back or if it's just a one-way thing, but that requires Dyson Sphere components, quantum chips, and the deuterium fuel rods. Let's go ahead and build a few of those real quick. Now, where I'd like this stuff to launch from would be inside of here. There's a couple of pieces of equipment that I really just don't need anymore. This thing right here we were using to separate out deuterium from the hydrogen. Again, we don't need that anymore. At this point, we're sucking up entire gas planets. So, <laughs> we've outgrown that. And there's just some other general chaos going on inside of here that eh, I'm not so sure we really need anymore. So, let's go ahead and put this thing down right here just to see what it'll look like holy moly i think it's too big too close to the em rail collides with other objects i think the only thing that i could do here wow i would have to rip up all of that stuff to install this here which i i ooh, i would like to have them in here that would look awfully cool i'm a little bit worried about how much stuff i'd have to remove though and what chaos that would cause. Alternatively, I could build them like right here in between the rings, which if I'm just going to be honest with you, while I'd like to keep all of these separate, I'm at the point where I really, if, if I make it bigger, it just doesn't fit on the screen. And my whole thing is to try to put everything on the screen. And I have all of this open space here, which does look cool. <sighs> But am I going to have to sacrifice some of it? Here's the thing. If I'm going to have to sacrifice some of it, I, I might as well do it in ways, in spots that look cool. How would this look? Hmm? I don't have enough soil. Ah! Give me all your soil. All of it. Mmm. Incoming! Uh. I do have a small factory over here just trying to make these little plates for me. The other one I had dried up. So, I'm gonna have to build like an entire factory just dedicated to little foundation tiles and then mine an entire planet just to afford it. There. Ah! If I do. Ah, 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 ah. Well, I could bump it way up there. That doesn't seem right though. I want it to be in the middle. Let's make that two wider. Ah, you see how that doesn't line up now? Nice. Okay. One wider all the way out here. Doot. Now, let's try it again. There we go. Centered right on that line. Sick. You have built a vertical launching silo. 
Now you can use it to construct the main structure of the Dyson Sphere. Yeah, okay. Um, add new layer. Radius, really small, really big. <laughs> Orbital incline. What if I go with 90? Straight up and down. Longitude. I like to keep these numbers at least round so I can, you know, go like that. 90, 90, 120. There we go. Now, how about 60? Yeah, that looks like it'd be pretty cool. Oh no, what do you do here? <gasps> what? What is this? Build plan node? What? That's a node. Latitude to hide. Upgrade stress system. Okay, so there's two of those. Are you... Oh, is this so that I could do... I could kind of make these off-center and kind of do that number? Boop, 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 boop. I don't know. I don't know if I need to do this as dense as I'm doing it. Upgrade stress system. So I think if I go inside of here, there's actually something that allows me to do more with that. Dyson sphere node latitude limit plus 15 degrees. <laughs> Only, um, I mean, to be fair, that takes a bit of research right there. All right, that foundation doesn't quite look right just yet. There we go. That's looking a little bit better. It's kind of a big foundation, but then again, it's kind of a big piece of equipment. All right, so inside of here, I need to load a small carrier rocket. There's a rocket. Insufficient power supply. Yeah, I know. There. Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. I want to see what this is doing. Okay, so we can see that these are flying out here and they seem to be taking up different positions. Huh, okay. So these are like some probe things and they're spinning around the sun right there and they're just looking straight at it. Like, are they absorbing a ton of power or what? And holy moly, how did this get so big? It wasn't this big when it took off. <laughs> well, let's take a look at the Dyson Sphere thing. So each one of these total nodes of four, right now we're doing a generation capacity of 383 kilowatts, not a lot. But if they don't wear out like our sails, then they don't consume stuff over time, meaning that it's, you know, it's as good as putting down a solar panel that you can just kind of tap into from wherever you're at inside of the solar system, which is super handy. I guess it just takes all those parts and puts it together. Huh. Bam, there they go. Oh, I gotta get a good screenshot of this. Total structure parts, eight of 120. So where are they going? What are they doing? I guess each one of these takes a few. See, what is that doing? It goes in there and it just did something. Okay, so if I click on that Dyson Sphere node, Zero, one zero thirty, cell point zero zero zero, frames, maintains, shells, power generation, what? Okay, well there's definitely more to it. I, I guess it's sort of automated in the way that it's going to try to make what it's trying to make. There we have it. Now I've got a full ring and I'm just gonna launch a bunch of rockets up there. Let's see what happens. All right, so to launch a bunch of rockets up there to see what happens, I need to make a bunch of rockets. That is where we come back to our outer ring, which has now crashed into my previous base. We're gonna slightly ignore that for now. You know what, I, I don't think I get to slightly ignore it. <laughs> Crap, it's, it's there, it's right in the way. No, 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 dismantle everything, there we go. All right, cleaned up all of that. All right, so now I'm making a bunch of solar sails. Nice. These things will definitely be useful, especially when it comes to like interstellar stuff where I gotta go and probably make a second Dyson ring somewhere else just to power things or I don't know, maybe I charge batteries and just ship them out there. I don't, I don't really know how I want to do that, but those are all possibilities. But one thing I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and start to take this stuff because I plan to have a lot of 
because I want to be able to kind of take these resources and, and move them wherever I need to go. Which means I need to supply Space Warper to all of them. Um, if I reserve a spot in here, I can actually just use a drone to deliver that. Or I could run a conveyor along the outside here and just run it to all of the towers. Which seems like complete overkill. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This can now go wherever it needs to go. Here's another problem. I've run into my old base. I've got all of this oil, everything here, and it all needs to go. The thing is, just about nothing over here is really running. I mean, just a few things that I've kept running now, like the research, just to kind of keep that stuff moving. But to be honest, a lot of this has stopped running because I've, I've run out of iron here. I just chewed through all of it. So it's kind of all just ugly old crap that can be torn down. And then I'll have to do something fancy with all of this research. That'll be the next episode. First, I need the power. So I'm just going to cut right through here. Excuse me. If you're in the way, you're going to get ripped out. <laughs> and there we have it. Whack. Boom. Like we took a chainsaw to our base. You know what? I actually feel quite good about it. <laughs> okay, next thing. I'm not going to be able to make a lot of this if I'm always waiting for the photon combiners. In case you guys are wondering, yes, I am actually dreaming of building conveyors now. I have... <laughs> I have been doing this for so long. Building so many of these. It's like it's imprinted on my mind. I close my eyes and I can still see it. And in the quiet of the night, I still hear the little clicks. There is simply no escaping the conveyors. All right, aha, here's where my strategy comes into play, right here. So if I take this and I bring it over here like that and put that space warper in, then I can clear that request. And now I have two spots over here, one spot over there on the left. Technically, I think I have all the stuff I need to start making rockets here. I already have the frame material, so I don't need that. And for the Dyson Sphere components, which I can build right here, processors, sails, which I have, frame materials. And then right next to that, the rockets. All right, so I'm kind of running into a logistics challenge at the moment. I have just about every component I need, I just don't have enough ports to get it to where I need it to go. So this run here is not too long. So if I do that number, bring it over here. So that's the deuterium rods right there. Inside of here, I'll have that. Then I need the quantum chips. And I already have all of the Dyson Sphere components. As far as I can tell, the Dyson Sphere component is only used in one thing, so I really don't, don't need that in a tower, which is good, <laughs> because I'm pretty much out of stuff. I can move from one spot to another. <sighs> all right, one very long conveyor later, and we have rockets. Wow, I am doing that completely wrong. <laughs> ah, that goes in, not out. All right, so now for the next thing. What am I gonna do with all of those rockets? Okay, so I found a station and I could just throw it in there, boom. And as it turns out, it's not too far away from the launcher. So I'll just bring it over there. All right, so to make sure that that actually gets up and running, I need to do a little bit more work. I need more silicon, so I need to fly out. Make sure I capture some of that somewhere. Pretty much already used up the red planet. The other planet though, in my solar system has a fair bit more silicon on it. So that's where I'm gonna go. All right, we're here. Let's just take a quick look at this. Oh, we've got over a million in that vein. Here's where I wanna go, right there. There's three million, four and a half million silicon over there. All right, so here's how I do this. Easy peasy style. Take one of these, slap it down. Take one of those, or two of those, slap those down. Take half of that, fill it in. Take the other half, fill it in. Quickly run some power out to wherever it is you need to go. Make sure that that is full. There we go. This is gonna be for silicon ore. Now I need enough mining thingamajigs. So I need copper. Okay, so I need a bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring them in just like that. I have enough of these. I'll put them in there. That might allow this stuff to go a little bit faster. And I need a nice consistent source of power. Hydrogen's usually a pretty good option, but I think I'll just do this. Remote demand, there we go. Run that out like so, and we can slap the fuel rods in there once they show up. 
Now technically, I think I could do accumulators and all that fun stuff if I really wanted to get into this. Shoot, I could probably use the ray receiver too. Just start pulling in from the Dyson Sphere. That's probably the more sustainable way to do things. I would like to be able to just request these buildings, but for right now, I just kind of request the raw resources and my next step is to get the buildings. There we go. So that is a lot of miners on one node. I'm at the point now where I always have tier three conveyor belts, so this is pretty easy to do. That allows me to run a lot more of these miners into the same conveyor belt. It may not run as fast as they possibly can sort of thing, but you know what? I'm hoping that one tier three belt per node is good enough. All right, so there we have it. Silicon, iron ore, just filling up super fast. So long as I have enough power. Do I still have enough power? Yep, I do. Ha, that's pretty easy. Ah, I missed one. There we go. All right, so now we can get a better idea of the numbers here. This is doing, if I take a look at one of these miners here, you can see that that is pulling in a 252 per minute. I believe our conveyor is something like 1800, so it's even faster. It depends on how many individual nodes this thing can reach. So some of these are like 180, others are 250. Make sure I don't have any issues like this. There we go. Make sure everybody has power. There you go, everybody happy? Yeah, there we go. And it looks like the fast conveyors are definitely needed here for all of that. Perfect. All right, good deal. Should definitely have enough silicon now. All right, now that I have all of this silicon, Am I going to be producing the assembly machine rockets? Many, 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 many more conveyors need to be built. All right, there goes a bunch of assembler rockets, just like that. Way right down over here. If I take a look at my Dyson Sphere right now, we're currently at 862 kilowatts. And we'll see what happens when we add a few more of those rockets to it. Look at that, oh, so cool. Look at this, I'm making the assemblers faster than I can launch them. So you know what that means. I need more launchers. And there we have it, the last launcher. If you look at it from space, I now have four of them. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. If you take a look at the sphere, hmm, <laughs> very low capacity. All right, so after a little bit of time, you can see that I've completed the Dyson shell. Well, or at least I've gotten this far. Hmm. Each one of these is doing the same sort of thing in that they're 30, 0, 30 as far as their structure points. No cell points, no frames. And they're each 2.87 megawatts. Oh, interesting. You can drag that? What is that all about? Whoa. Ha. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Oh, whoa. Look at this. So it's actually connecting between the different nodes. <laughs> that is awesome. Whoa, look at how big that is. Was it always that big? Or has it grown since I've fed it more and more rockets? Can I interact with it? Oh, no, if I fly right through it. Uh, so check this out. Here you can see it building the bridge between these two nodes. Ha! <laughs> it's like, every time I think this game can't get cooler, it finds a way to get even cooler. Like, how awesome is that? Alright, so if I click on that spot right there, see, now we're up to 39 megawatts. Whoa. If I stop the game here, just for a moment. There we go. So that should have one complete ring all the way around. Whoa. That, that is really cool. <laughs> Holy moly. So while the construction is not yet complete, that has definitely bumped up the amount of power I'm getting out of that by a fair bit. I'm now up to 64 megawatts. I think there's a bit of research I should do in order to get my ring running a little bit better here. It takes 2,000 of everything, but oh well. That's going to be the Dyson Sphere node latitude limit plus 15. Look at this. We're running at... Wow! That went fast. All right, so now on my Dyson Sphere, if I just go to this... <gasps> yes, I could build beyond that. Now, 
this is where things might get really weird or interesting. What do I do with this? Hmm? Okay, what if I put a point right up there? And then I put another point right there. Oh, wow. And then I could do that number. And that'll like try to fill it in. Oh, isn't that interesting? Well, let me give that a try. All right, so fast forwarding in time a little bit here, I just kind of want to show you what it looks like once you start to really get things moving. So as we shoot out the sails into the orbits here, if there's space inside of the frames, they start to get sucked into the different node points and that all fills out into becoming very, very large solar panels like this. So this is under construction at the moment. Those rockets go out there and build up the, the structure frame and the little bars that go out and then that defines the areas. Really, really cool. So now you can kind of see the whole scope of this thing. We need to build up our massive factory in order to supply as many sails and um, assembler rockets that all come together for this Dyson Sphere. And the goal here is to build up the amount of power we have in order to build up the factory so that we can really unlock the very, very high end levels of technology and ultimately beat the game. In the next episode here, we're going to be taking everything to the next level, trying to build up our technology to the final objective, which is to beat the game. But to do that, we're going to have to explore the solar system and take this project here and make it even bigger. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of the Dyson Sphere program. If this looks like the channel for you, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. Stay awesome, guys. Peace. Brothgar, out.